you you will definitely um, step out of your comfort zone that's one thing you have to learn new things you will know what the world is know what humans do what's what they want and why they do yes what they do what they want what you know what you know what you know what i mean what you i want to you know Mainly survive in Asasi. A little bit of tips and tricks about what is foundation in science, what you must do, what you're gonna face, and the possible outcomes. So let's start. Yeah. First question would be: What's the how was the timetable during the first week of Asasi? Mm, I would say that. The first week of Asasi is more or less, how do you say that? Like, it's not that hectic yet. But not hectic, exactly. Yes, not that hectic yet. But if it's almost like near to the exam, then yeah. they like, it's not just the schedule, but the things that we need to, it, that, the things that it needs to get done. Yeah. During the exam, what do you mean? During semester one or semester two? Um, during. Mid-sem. Yeah, mid-sem. Yeah, so um, in our foundation, there's two semesters consisting of a mid, two, mid, uh, two exams, which is a mid-sem and a final. And so basically, we have four exams. During the first few weeks, it was very, very free though. You guys can even go to malls every day. You can sleep at malls because you <laughs> barely have anything to do. Basically, you just do, you just read lecture notes, you do tutorials, and then you'll be fine. Yes. But towards mid-sem, you have to face do we have PBL? PBL, yes. We have. Yeah, we have PBL and maybe we have assignments if I'm not mistaken. Uh, towards mid Lab. 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 Uh, laboratory experiments. Ah, uh, yes. Um, the laboratory experiments, of course, we have. But then again, after that, we have to do the lab reports. Yeah. Yes, lab and lab report is the worst part <coughs> of everything because surely you will face a lot and a lot of drama <laughs> if you have to handle with dramatic people after sure yes. because uh, when you work in a group you have to be responsible and everyone has to carry a very serious role because you know the total of your group marks will be into one mm. meaning that if you screw up your group mate will be screwed yes. so you need to play an important role yes. basically so have you ever faced anything any drama during that experiments well I think one of which is apala, cooperation. Cooperation. Yes, mostly. Mainly describe. it's cooperation. Describe, describe. Um, because you'll expect that they all cooperate, but then then uh, again, yeah, they, they won't. won't. They won't. Some, some would just. I think like, this is my experience. Just this one time, I, I was the compiler, uh. and then we. You know the compiler have to gather all the uh, all the parts and then you have yeah, to yeah. compile and print right. Mm. So for me, a person not having a printer <laughs> to print at three a.m. that is an issue, guys. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay. So uh, that's pretty much about lab. But what else? Ah, uh? so we have lab. We have PBL. So what is PBL? Do you know what's PBL? PBL stands for problem based learning. So yeah. we have to. We interpret the, the problem, then we solve it. Uh, solve it in our own. We cannot find it just in the. I mean, we can find it from the internet, but then again, we have to solve it. Um, I guess solve it together, lah. Because yeah. it's mainly in groups. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's basically about um, questions given by the lecturers, and you have to find the solution with a little bit guidance by what you have learned throughout the lecture, and more towards apply it on your daily basis so for instance um, for PBL um, it depends on what subject and depends on the situation for my class we had PBL for climate change and for him he had energy energy, energy. so uh, for my PBL the other day we had about the current issues which is about the thinning of ozone layer and we have to discover about each and every states and which states and which regions have the highest uh, what is it what's it called again but yeah the the the, the thingy or the dg that indicates the quality of uh, air yeah yes. that one so for him what did you do um, for for me i think i did 
for the conservation of energy lah. In mainly in Sabah lah, because how to say the yeah, the people they ask um, ask us to how to conserve the energy. So yeah, we gather statistics and all, and that's not easy lah. Because that's the part where they want us to understand. Yeah, they need yeah. because we need to present later on. I can say it's quite challenging because you know if you want to calculate about the ozone layer, which is about the quality of the air. You won't understand what you find in Google. Yeah. You won't understand because they will give you in in statistic form and then with with very weird English words that you won't understand. <laughs> yeah. So um, I can say it, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's very not fair because that maybe he has a maybe he has a um, what do you call? Maybe it's your luck. Mm. You have a good question and suddenly I got bad. So what I can say is that you have to be responsible and you have to be very independent in this very yeah, independent very independent yeah. so that's pbl and then we have what more assignment assignments also assignment what assignment did we have um i think it's the physics oh yeah physics, yeah, physics. Describe, describe about the physics one physics assignment oh man it's so hard man physics assignment the other day we had this carnival it's called stem s-t-e-m STEM stands for. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, yeah, and mathematics. So basically, uh, for the physics assignment, we did different projects and different topics. So for me, I had under the scope of lens lenses. So you, I got the electromagnetic waves. Oh, so what did you do for, for um, the assignment? For our for our assignment, we get the electromagnetic waves. Where where in Japan, you know, there's like a train where it goes, it uses magnet to move. So there's no friction to it. Oh, mm. EMF. EMF. EMF induced. Oh my God, I forgot already. As <laughs> is over, I don't want to remember definitions anymore. Yeah. <laughs> or <it is. laughs> Okay. So it's basically about the relation between magnetic and electric. For us, for me, for my group, we did. Lens. Lens is basically we tried to you know because uh, our foundation in our bio lab there's like a little specimen so we try to relate biology and physics to attract the um, mm. to to attract outsiders, right, outsiders. such as uh, students from other schools and also uh, doctors yes, to keep we, their interest uh, because the, the scope is very big but wow. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have lots and lots of tourists so I had to play a role by um, introducing to them what my project is and most of them were very attracted by mine because they had a little bit of a combination between bio and physics so yeah it's, but we didn't win anything because that's a prize for the assignment but you, you didn't win right mm, yeah <laughs> it's okay um but from the stem we can gain like new experiences definitely man yes, definitely our soft skills improve like, a lot mm -hmm. Especially when it comes to teamwork, yeah. because I tell you what lah, for assignment can, everyone has to play a role. I swear to God, <laughs> because because you know, when it comes to teamwork, everyone has their own opinions and preference. Some may want to do with a little bit of effort, but some may give their all. So with this mindset, mm. it's quite hard. So very. very hard. And then I remember that time around where we have to present within one hour and my teammate had to went to a mall nearby mm. to buy to buy necessaries to decorate our our what do you call that thing again? Yeah? Booth. The, the booth. The booth. Yes. So yeah it was quite challenging experience. Now that we're done with now that we're done with PBL mm. assignment and the system, library, yes. yeah lab system. lab experiments. Why don't we talk about um the gap like which time you should like really jolly jolly and which time you have to be serious? <laughs> um, for me lah kan? Yeah. Um, the time for us to like play around kan? Um, uh, first week. The first week ah, uh, mm. the first week because mostly the subjects we learn kan? For the first week is <coughs> just very like they are more on, how to say? Related to Form 5 lah. Yeah, very, mm. I very. swear to God. Mantap bosku. <laughs> <laughs> but but after semester 2, mm. I I studied, I didn't even sleep, I sleep barely like 2 or 3 hours mm. So I can say that during the the earliest 
foundation you should really go jolly jolly you find your friend you go to the mall sleep at the mall lah because then towards the end it will be very very packed i tell you i didn't believe at the first place lah like my seniors told me kan it will be very packed you won't have time to do this to do that you won't even have time to wash clothes and stuff right i didn't believe at first <laughs> and i was proven wrong um for the first time kan how to say you can play around but then again at that phase you have to also find friends that you can apa lah you can trust ah, yes. yeah 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 It must how to say. The so, friends that you are that you meet during the first week doesn't really uh, means that you are gonna be friends with them towards the end, right? Yes. During the first few months and weeks of foundation, you can jolly jolly, but towards the end, you'll be very busy. Trust your seniors. Trust your seniors, man. They have experienced it. Trust them. And then, not let's talk about friends. Mm, friends. Friends. We were not close during foundation. In, during the semester one, we were not close. That's why we didn't even talk. I met him on Instagram because people say like, "Oh my God, that Lester! You know Lester? So it's mana satu Lester? Oh this one! I know this one!" Again, we didn't. We didn't even talk Be- because uh, during the early foundation, I can tell you one thing: everyone's fake. <laughs> Do you agree with that? Yes, yes. Everyone is in their introduction phase mm-hmm. where they have to. Um, Try to find friend. They have to give a good impression. They have to um, maintain a good status. Mm. So they had they had to be fake. It's not their fault. It's called a culture shock. Culture shock, uh, right? So yes. I wouldn't. I mean, like I have been through culture shock, but during my culture shock phase, I didn't expect I was culture shock. Okay, that's my experience. How about your experience? Friends, well, of course, lah. We have to like introduce kan. Um, we introduce pun how to say. You have to bike bike lah like that all. Uh. But in the end, can if you want to know them, their true intentions, can you have to get close to them. Lah. By getting close to them, then you can know their true colors lah behind yeah. their mask. Yeah, because then uh, you want to know a person. You want to know what a person's mindset is. You have to know them when they are not happy, because that is their true true mindset. Yeah. Now, I want to talk about what do I want to talk. About? How about sports? You're very good at sports, right? Mm. Uh, tell me a bit of background. Mm, in sports, I think um, for Sasi, it's not that much, but you can try to have a good lifestyle. Yeah. Like after, Find time. yeah, after your lectures, your if you have a free time after your lectures, you can you guys can go try and um, what do you say? Bersenam. Bersenam. Yeah, jogging. Yeah, and jogging. also like at our college, Kedia man, there's a small gym nearby. Yes. Which for us it's quite beneficial. Yes. Maintain your cardio, maintain your body shape. But I tell you ah, when you step out of your SPM life, can it's very different. It's mm. very different from what you have faced. Even if you have been through asrama, MRSM, it's different. It's it's really different. You you will definitely um, step out of your comfort zone. That's one thing. You have to learn new things. You will know what the world is. You will you will know what humans do. What what they want and why they do. Yes. Wow. What they do, what they want, <laughs> what you know, what yeah. you know. What I mean. <laughs> so. And to know the true meaning of life, lah. True meaning of life, definitely. Yes. Life is all about survival, and it's all about survival. That's oh, um, I'm gonna give a little bit of tips about lectures. Um, the best advice because you know back in high school, if you sit in front, people will call yes. you nerds and stuff, right? Yeah. Ignore that because in If you go to university level, can I tell you what? Ah, because in university life, I tell you what. Once you go to degree, I'm saying on foundation, but once you go to degree, you have to jot down notes. You don't get lectures from yes. your lecturers and stuff. It's quite hard. I mean, don't just listen and sit and watch. Yes. Write down, jot notes. Even if you don't under understand your own writing, just write down. That will be a downfall. Ah. Yeah, definitely. Focus. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Right? Especially yeah. Don't uh, sleep. Don't sleep. And. Lower your ego and be humble, respect others, and accept. That is the key yes. to life. Accept change. Accept changes. Accept differences. But don't let the acceptance of yours make you become the person. Yeah. If you don't like that person, it's okay to hate. But don't, don't hate up to a point you will become them. Mm. So, I think that's all from us. Ciao, ciao, ciao.